Welcome to Spotlight on Schools. I'm Jennifer Eddins. Today, we're at East Wake Academy. EWA is a public charter school in Zebulon, North Carolina. It was established in 1998. Since that time, they've built an elementary school and a high school building. And now, they're excited to offer their middle school students a brand new building to enjoy and learn in. I think the first thing that this new building is going to allow us to do is to foster community amongst the four middle school grade levels. We've, before this time, we've been in three separate environments, and so the students haven't been able to interact with each other much in their primary setting. So this is going to allow a little bit of interaction and community building amongst the students. I also think that the technology in this building is state of the art. The students are very excited about it. We have new Wi-Fi in the building that is going to allow us to better integrate technology into our classroom. And all of the classrooms are equipped with brand new smart TVs that will allow us to be more meaningful in our construction. It will allow us to meet the students where they are technologically and prepare them better for their futures. And in, a, in addition, <clears throat> we'll be able to take our lessons and put them up so students are can review them later. We can take that information that we talk about in class and make it available to the students at home with these new smart TVs in a way that we haven't been able to do before. First of all, we have way more space. Um, so tomorrow I'm doing a unit on graphing in the coordinate plane. And so I'll actually be able to rent out the commons area. And I'll actually be able to use painter's tape to create a big live human coordinate plane. And students will actually get to graph the points by walking over and up and down, um, which is really cool because um, we have the space to do that. We didn't have that before. And then also we have the new um, smart TVs, the smart panel with the smart software. So students can come up and manipulate the shapes. We're about to start our geometry unit, like I said, and so they can actually come up, move shapes, find missing sides, right on the TV. So it just makes it way more interactive because um, we didn't have that in the, the old building. So Jessica, tell me, what will the new building change about your approach to instruction? So it's not so much the new building that's changing my approach to instruction, but what the new building brings. So for example, we're getting lots of new technology. We have the new smart TVs, and we also have a new wireless system throughout the building. So what's that, what that is allowing me to do is to count on the infrastructure of my wireless to allow students to use technology more seamlessly in the classroom. So um, I can use a more kind of BYOD, bring your own device, where I can have students on their own technology devices in the classroom using those to enhance Instruction. Right. And so students are going to have their own devices anyway, so why yeah, exactly. not incorporate them into learning exactly. instead of haggling over who instead has what? Instead of texting. Do they, have a lot of it, right. <laughs> Do they have a lot of fun using those in the classroom? Oh, they love it. Anytime yeah. you can incorporate technology in the classroom, they get so much more engaged and they get so much more excited about what they're learning. Right. Even if it's not the most exciting topic, if you can incorporate technology in a way, it makes them pay more attention. It makes them sit up and pay attention because they're approaching it from a way that they may not have seen before. Um, another thing that we've gotten in our new building is tables instead of desks, which I am so excited about because I love when my students can work collaboratively together. So having those tables instead of desks encourages more partner and collaborative work in the classroom. Which is basically the way society is. Any job exactly. in the future that you're preparing them for is going to take collaboration, so this allows y'all to do that more easily. Exactly. My students know that in my classroom we work on 21st century skills all the time, and a big part of that is people skills and working collaboratively with others. And so they get a lot of practice of that in my math classroom. The main mission here, there are three things that I like to focus on, one being that all students can and will learn, um, and that our staff members are the foundation of the success of our school. And the fact that with the help of parents, community, and students, and teachers, we can make sure that all students reach their highest potential. So all, typically, a mission is one statement, but all three of those things are very, very, very important to all our mission. All three components matter. And when you have that perfect collaboration of students, teachers, parents, how does the administration step in and help direct that or guide that? My job is just to facilitate those things. Right. Um, when students, 
students and parents want to be at our school. It's an amazing place to be. Um, we try to hire highly qualified teachers that have a passion for what they do. Um, because if it's a passion, it's not like going to work. And I just facilitate everything that goes along with it. I am the, I'm the middleman. Right. I, I, mean, I, feel my, I, as, I don't consider myself a boss. I consider myself just someone that facilitates everything that happens to make sure that it flows easily. Well, what has been your sense so far of the excitement of the students about the new oh building? Oh, my goodness. The kids are totally excited. They're stoked about having their own place. They feel like they're a part of the campus. Um, there are different small things that they're really excited about. You have middle schoolers, so um, fancy lockers and vending machines are a big thing for them. But they love the science lab and being able to have those facilities and having all the extra technology and things like that that we did not have the infrastructure for in the past. Right. So it's all that just makes them extremely excited. Okay, so tell me a little about the innovations room you have upstairs. You showed it to me earlier, and it's, it's really a lovely space. So tell me how that will be used. Well, in our school, we, it, it's not the typical old-fashioned traditional style where every student is sitting at a desk, you're working by yourself alone, individual. Um, but the Innovations Lab allows for collaboration. Lots of collaboration, lots of project-based learning. Um, teachers are very innovative in their style of teaching in the classrooms, and it allows everyone to work together so that in the, in the real world, they will work in teams. No one will work individually right. in most cases. So we're just preparing that for the future. So Harrison, what excites you most about the middle school building? Oh, man. This, this little innovation lab room for sure. Yeah, it's really cool, um, isn't it? Yeah, just like all the new technology. We got like little smart boards in, the, in all the classrooms. Those are pretty cool. Um, that, that little whiteboard table right over <laughs> yeah. there. Even a dry erase board table to, mm -hmm. to work that's, with. That's Even this cool. nice tall table that yeah. you can collaborate with your friends. Yeah. I can, I can see some projects coming from your teachers. How do you feel about that? It's better than tests. Okay. I, I'd, I'd take a project over a test. Okay, so you like the collaboration mm -hmm. and project-based learning kind of model that they're following. Definitely. And tell me, how long have you been looking forward to the opening of this building? You've watched it being built, right? Yes. Um, let's see. They started, we did the groundbreaking ceremony like at the start of basketball season last year. So it's, it's about a year in the making and we've watched it come up and yeah. it's, it's been Rick really fun. Yeah. yeah. So. What do you think this will change about your daily experience at school? It'll just be more fun coming to school, make it, you know, like before, you know, it was kind of wake up and it's like, oh, okay, school. But now it's like, it's just exciting because, you know, yeah. everything in here is just like so modern and, yeah. yeah. And new and so mm -hmm. much space How, and, mm -hmm. and a lot of nice areas to hang out with your friends when you're not doing work, right? Yes. Uh, we got a little, they call it the cafe downstairs. This big open space with windows all around it. And then there's this room, which this is more for work. But you it makes know. work more fun though, right? Definitely. Awesome. Well, we hope you enjoy it a lot. Thanks for talking to us. No problem. Thank you. Well, there's a lot of exciting things about the new building, but I think one of them would have to be the water fountains. Okay. <laughs> when I had a cross country meet at another school, they had the water fountains, and I thought the idea of a water bottle counter and being able to fill up your water bottle fast was a really cool idea. Oh, yeah. Have you tried it yet? I have, and it's really cold, too. Oh, good. <laughs> so you run cross-country, so you know hydration is important. Yeah. Okay, so tell us about your teachers and their enthusiasm for the new building. Oh, my gosh. My homeroom teacher, Miss Weaver, is so excited about the new building. Right. She loves her classroom, and she just she loves everything about it. They're all getting used to it, so it's kind of a... Fun time. It'll take some time to settle in. What do you think about this innovations room? Wow, I don't know. It's really cool. I just I've never seen anything like that. You see yourself school. doing projects and and working on you know the Chrome booklets or books and the PCs and the dry erase board table over there. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's Are your classmates excited? Oh yeah, everyone's excited. Are you looking forward to collaborating more, project based learning? What aspect of that do you most enjoy? I think group projects and working together is a lot of fun. I think just being able to talk with someone else and throw out your ideas is probably the most fun of like Okay. And and so I'm told that it's a lot easier to access your technology here in the new building. So mm -hmm. you can you can use your phone or your technological device to interact in classroom. 
how is that going? Is that something you enjoy learning, doing, learning through technology? Yes, I like it a lot. What kind of projects or games do you guys play with your technology? So we do a lot of projects in my seventh grade um, social studies, Miss Barry's class. Okay. Uh, we do a lot of like uh, online labs where you research about um, histories. Okay. And then um, in Ms. Ward's class, sometimes we'll do projects as a group, and we'll do research to um, have better words in our scripts and okay. find you know synonyms for words. Sure, and you can look that up right there instead of having to use the antiquated dictionary, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, enjoy the new water fountain and all your collaborative learning, and thanks for joining us. Thank you. So, Mr. Gay, how will this new middle school building present progress for the entire East Wake Academy campus? Well, this shows uh, it makes it into a campus now. What we've been able to do is we're moving from our mobile units here. Uh, our middle school's been our mobile units since 1999. So it's made that progress. It gets them all in one, one, one building, one unit. They can work together more as teams and more collaboration between the grade levels. Okay. So I think it's, it's a very much a positive. It helps us actually give us a seamless uh, move from K through 12 education. Okay, so tell us, how is East Wake Academy a unique educational experience? Uh, what we offer is we're a school of choice. We're a public charter school, um, tuition free, and so it allows a family to enroll their child in kindergarten and actually continue all the way through 12th grade. And if you have multiple kids, are your kids on the same campus and have the same schedule? And also it's a great education, it's a family atmosphere, and we're able to offer that because we are K-12. Right. What is the focus in the curriculum for your charter school? Is it the same as the traditional public schools? We follow the same standard course of study, but we approach it a little bit differently. We try to build a lot of collaboration. We have a college prep curriculum, because we want our kids to be exposed all the way from kindergarten through 12th grade, that our expectation is they will go to college. and We want them to have that opportunity. And so if we start instilling that in them when they're young, when they get to high school, they'll be ready, and their opportunities will be there. So, Mr. Gay, as the school continues to grow, do you have any plans for expansion? Well, we look at all our opportunities that can come up. What we'd like to do on this campus is to add a new gym and a new um, arts complex that will be on this campus. We're also looking at opportunities to expand because we know that Eastern Wake County is hungry for a quality education, and we provide that. And we are looking at possible opportunities. You know, Nightdale would be a great opportunity for us. Mr. Gay, East Wake Academy began in all mobile units years ago. Tell me the progress that has happened and how you got to this point. Um, I think our family is invested in what we're doing. They believe in what we're doing. And the, the idea with a charter school is that you can uh, change on the run while you're moving through it and change and develop to what you need to meet your needs of your population. So what's happened over time is we built an elementary school and then we built the high school. And now with the middle school, it continues and completes our campus part of our academic buildings and leads us to our future. How do you think the students are going to respond to the new building and the new innovations that they have available to them? I think it just brings a excitement to their education. Uh, one thing we also learned is it's not the building, it's the people that are in it. So we have a strong staff that believes in kids and what they can learn. So the kids bringing that to his, they see that relationship with their teachers. It, it can only help them excel in the classroom. This beautiful new middle school building at East Wake Academy offers a bright new space for the developing minds of the learners inside. The teachers, students, and parents are so excited to have a bright new space for students to learn and grow. The excitement was evident today, and we appreciate their opening their doors and letting us come inside. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Spotlight on Schools.